The 71st Annual Academy Awards brought to you by American Express. Whether you're seeing a movie or making one, we can help you do more. Kodak. Take pictures further. Sears. Come see the softer side of Sears. And Revlon. Revolutionary products for revolutionary women. Okay, now Shakespeare really is rolling over in his grave. <laughs> in Shakespeare in Love, Sandy Powell's passion for detail shines through in her representation of the 16th century styles worn by theater folk and by the court of Queen Elizabeth. You think this is easy? I haven't had to take my dress off this many times since my first audition. Steven, you remember how many times I took it. I'm just kidding, man. You know they know. No, I really have a huge dry cleaning bill. Bigger than you know who. But everybody's got, yeah, you know it was coming. You knew it was coming. Everybody's got a bigger dry cleaning bill than she does. Now that you've seen the five films nominated, it's time for the award for best costume design. And I get to present it over the objections of the designers who feel I've done more than enough for their costumes already. <laughs> but they want to know, so they've got to deal with it. Once again, the nominees are Colleen Atwood for Beloved. Alexandria Byrne for Elizabeth. Juliana Makovsky for Pleasantville. Sandy Powell for Shakespeare in Love. And Sandy Powell for Velvet Goldmine. And the Oscar goes to... Sandy Powell for Shakespeare in Love. the first Oscar for Sandy Powell, who was previously nominated for Wings of a Dove and Orlando. Um, but I'd like to congratulate Whoopi for having the guts to wear that velvet gold mine costume. <laughs> Okay, well, two nominations, one speech. Um, and I want to thank everybody I work with on both films. There are too many names, it'll be too boring, but really this mostly is my brilliant, fantastic team that work with me on everything. Thank you, everybody, thank you. Thank you.